my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lissy. So today, guys, I did something kind of stupid. Not like I haven't done stupid things before, but I went on eBay and I was like, huh, what can I do for today's video to spice things up? And I thought it was a good idea to maybe buy a mystery box, but not just any kind of mystery box. I thought, you know, maybe a haunted mystery box for this video would really spice things up. So I went on eBay and I saw this exact listing for a mystery box and I went to their profile and they sold a lot of different mystery boxes. But this one in specific was called a haunted hundred dollar mystery box. It says in the description that they collected a bunch of different items over the years and they still have a huge haunted collection at their house. People have brought to them claiming that they're haunted, cursed, possessed, and absolutely terrifying. So of course I waited till 3 a.m. because right now it is 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm tired and my makeup is crustaceous and I'm looking like a hot mess, but that does not matter, okay? What does matter is that I got a mystery box sent to my house and it doesn't feel... Okay, maybe I shouldn't break it. I don't know what's in here. It doesn't feel too bad. I don't know what to expect. Angel, are you back there? Do you get bad vibes from this? I feel like she's staring. Maybe this is haunted. Anyways, we're just gonna rip this open, okay? Drop a like if you guys are excited. If this video gets to 20,000 likes, I will buy more scary and crazy different mystery boxes off of eBay and open them up in a part two. Let's see what's inside of this so-called haunted mystery box. Okay guys, so we're just gonna start by ripping it open. This is the exciting part. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Oh boy. Yay. Oh, I love the creativity they put on this. It says mystery box. What's gonna be inside? Hopefully they don't curse me or possess me. Woo! Okay, um, oh! They put a bunch of notes on everything. Okay, I need to read whatever the seller wrote here. Here's what it looks like before opening everything up. The seller left a ton of notes. Oh! Okay, I think this is a note that I'm supposed to read first, because this one's not taped to anything. It says, Hello Valued! I love that. I wonder how many of these they sell. Hello Valued customer! Thank you so much for purchasing from my shop. I hope you enjoy this mystery box full of haunted vintage items from my personal collection. Attached to each of the items will be a brief background of the items and its hauntings. Ooh, this is getting spooky. I hope you treat these items with special care and respect. Good luck and take care. Good luck, they say. Okay, um, what is that supposed to mean? All right, uh, well, that's that's a nice note of them. It's very thoughtful. They say, good luck and take care. Um, you know, let's just get into it. I think I'm gonna go for this one. All right, so the letter on this one actually says it's a faceless doll. Okay, let me read the backstory of this doll, or do I read it, or do I open it first? I'm gonna open it first, because I'm already, I already know the title of what it's gonna be. How does it all have no face? <gasps> Am I holding a cursed item? It really doesn't have a face! Ew, I don't like it. Ooh, she's ugly, like me, but still. Okay, um, look at those feet though, they're horrendous. Why are they so big? Okay, anyways, let's let's read the note. It says this faceless doll had an extremely dark backstory. <laughs> That's nice to know. Please don't curse me. Her name was Penny, and she was first owned, rumor has it, by a young girl who received this doll as a gift from her parents before putting her up for adoption. Eventually, over the years, as the girl grew older, the doll started to have some strange occurrences happen. You would hear crying at night coming from this doll, and every day the girl gave less attention to this doll, the doll's face would fade away slightly more. Till one day, the doll had a completely blank and empty face on it. Oh, this is creepy. I do not like this already, okay? Maybe I do regret this. Like, if this thing's really cursed, I don't want it, okay? I want to burn it, okay? I, I didn't, you didn't hear me say that, Penny. Shh, you didn't hear that. The girl claims that she saw her face appear one night in the blank face of the doll, and ever since, she got rid of it. Okay, that's um a fun story, you know? I uh, don't really want that story to be true. Penny, I'm gonna find you a nice owner that won't let your face appear. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, no! Psych, it was just special effects editing. Imagine though, my face just appears onto Penny. I should get Angel's reaction to Penny. Let me see if she likes it. It's Penny! I don't know how she feels about it. How do you feel? How do you feel? She wants away. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Angel wasn't feeling petty at all, and hopefully tonight when I go to sleep, nothing crazy happens with this thing, cause honestly right now, I don't feel any bad vibes. I mean, it is ugly, and Angel doesn't like it, but I don't feel creeped out by it. Let's open the next item. So this next thing I pulled out of here was pretty. It was in a nice golden little box, so 
I don't know, it just appealed to me. I didn't want to read what it said, but I will now. It says, it's a framed vintage photo of a girl. I'm gonna open it up before I read this long paragraph she wrote. Let's see what it is. Ooh, there's like a little bit of protected on her. That's nice, they put that. Okay, so here is what it looks like. Um, oh, oh, okay, that is, that is not a fun sight. I wouldn't want to look at that every day. I, I just wouldn't, okay? Look at it, it's hideous. All right, it's literally a photo of a girl, but um, she looks like a ghost. I mean, not that I don't look like a ghost. I'm pretty albino myself, but she literally looks like a ghost. Um, don't know if I want this photo in my room at night. Like, this is uneasy to look at. Now I'm going to read it and see what it says about this cursed, possible cursed photo. I'm scared. I don't like that. That one ain't sitting right with me, okay? I don't like that haunted item. I hope it's really not. Okay, it says, this vintage photo may appear normal, however, the previous owner claims it's nothing close to normal. <laughs> That's nice to know. It didn't appear normal to me, though. The past owner had a large collection of vintage photographs, and she never had a problem with any of them until she got this one. One day, when she was sorting through her collection of photos, she grabbed this specific photograph and swears that the face had moved all on its own. She screamed in fear and threw the photo and claimed when she grabbed it that the woman in the photo looked even angrier than before. She felt an extreme chill down her spine as well. I am not enjoying this. Let me try staring at it with you guys for a minute. Let's see if we get the face to move or anything. It doesn't even say what her name is. I'm like staring at her very intensely. Is it gonna move? It's creepy. I don't like looking at it. Not that it's moving or anything. It just gives me a bad vibe. Tell me if you guys agree. Tell me in the comments. Does this not, does this not creep you out even just a little bit? Like look at that. Do you see her? Who is this? By the way, if you guys know who this is, let me know. Cause I don't know who it's a photo of or if it's just like a random girl or what the the real story to this thing is. Let's open the next item. I'm always grabbing the ones that look fun to open. This one was like big and red. I thought it'd be a fun one to open. Okay, let's read what this is. It says, it's a vintage dog candle. How is a candle gonna be haunted? All right, I'm gonna open it up without even reading this. I'm starting to believe these things might not be haunted and I might've just got scammed by a random eBay person. Kind of cute. Oh, it smells like poop, though. Don't smell good. That smells like tire marks, actually. Not even poop, like tire marks. But you know, it is a little dog that's a little bit strange looking. It's kind of cute. Like, what do you guys think? Is that ugly or is it cute? Comment down below. Is it ugly or cute? It looks pretty adorable. It kind of looks like Angel, but not really. Anyways, let's read what's so bad about this little dog candle. It says this vintage dog candle. Oops, I dropped the lid was purchased from a young lady in the 1980s who made custom candles. She would sell them in bulk and had both a male and female version of each design. However, this specific candle wouldn't ever sit up straight on its own, once left alone. The original buyer had both versions, but the female one would always collapse. Rumor had it that when she attempted to light it for the first time, it fell down. Oh, what's well, that's, that's nice little, little dog candle. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> Quirky. <laughs> And then she heard a faint scream. If that happened to me, not to be dramatic, but I would die. After that, she gave it to me, and since then, it's been in my collection for a good while. However, I have not yet seen the effect that the previous owner has. Okay, well, um, let's try to put some of this to the test. I don't have a lighter in here, but I can set it down and leave the room and put the light off. Try to put it down on the lid of the box that I just got. It's sitting for me, look at that. Right there, it's sitting on its own. Let's turn the light off. It's still sitting. Did I get scammed? Where's the spooky? I don't think I'm gonna get any spooky tonight. So with the next item I decided to grab is whatever this is. It feels kind of squishy, but kind of not. It says it's a doll of some sort. It just says extremely dangerous. Um, well, this one is not very specific. It literally, it's called Shelby. Her name is Shelby. It says, Shelby the doll has been reported to be extremely dangerous by the previous owners. Reasons are unknown as the owner didn't feel comfortable sharing any details. Handle with caution. Ooh. Oh gosh. She looks like a minion. Ew, I hate minions. Okay, Shelby, please don't curse me. This looks like a literal minion. Tell me you guys don't see that. Why is this creepy doll dressed like a minion? Okay, she is creeping me out a little bit. I just don't like what she looks like personally because she reminds me of a minion. And minions are one of my biggest fears. So let me turn the light off and see if Shelby does anything. Why are none of these haunted? 
it. This one jingles like a reindeer. Oh, this next one is a vintage wind-up doll. I'm gonna open it before reading the story because, um, you know, I love wind-up toys and whatever dogs. Ooh, it's really old looking, but it's it's kind of cute. Look at this. So it's a little vintage wind-up dog toy. I wonder if it still works. Look at that little tail. He swings. I like it. It's kind of cute. Why would this be haunted? I don't really have a clue. Let's see if it works. Oh, it does! Ah! Oh, I didn't just fall over. Okay, come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Spin the tail. Spin the tail. Oh, he's cute. Okay, I'm gonna read the story of why this is haunted. It was originally owned to an older woman who had bought this toy for her grandson. She claimed that she got this wind-up dog from an antique shop in mint condition at the time. But when she had it sitting on her counter one night, the dog would violently shake and make deep growling sounds that were nearly impossible for the toy to make. Oh, well that's fun. Um, she then would turn the lights on and it would stop. She noticed that whenever this toy was left alone overnight, in the dark, all alone, this toy would continue to do some strange, unexplainable things. Oh, well that's fun. Let's turn the lights off and get the party started. <laughs> That thing really is going fast. Oh! Dude, I can't even hold on to it. Okay, I'm turning the lights back on. Even Angel's concerned. It's going again. Dude, I don't like this thing. I don't know if it's trying to twerk or what it's trying to do. This was fine at first. It won't even stop. Okay, this is kind of creepy. I'm gonna have to update you guys on this one because this one's not sleeping in the room with me tonight. There's no way. It's going downstairs. I love the description of this. Raisin toy. A raisin toy. How is a raisin toy haunted? Let's read this. This raisin toy might seem harmless. However, one small five-year-old child who played with it would scream in panic whenever she saw it. She would point at this toy and say, Mommy, the raisin talks to me. The parents never believed her until one day the raisin toy would move all around the house on its own overnight. It would sit in strange spots like the ends of their beds, in their fridge, and even in their purses all by itself. Time to open whatever this raisin toy might be. This one sounds creepy. Three, two, one. That is the most hideous ugliest, creepiest looking thing I've ever laid my eyes on. He looks like a poop. Ew. Look at it. He literally looks like Tracy the Tree from Rainforest Cafe. Tell me that does not. Okay, you know what? This is probably the creepiest thing I've opened today. Um, honestly, I'm about to update you guys on this. I know this video was very long about opening a haunted mystery box from the dark web or eBay. But, um, you know, it is 3 a.m. right now and I'm pretty tired. I will have to do a part two about this video. If any of these items do anything crazy, trust me, I will be letting you guys know. Um, luckily nothing too crazy happened. I mean, they were kind of ugly and creepy and they had some weird backstories, so. Hopefully I just got scammed, honestly. At this point I would take the $100 scam and the weird trash and just say, at least I didn't get cursed or possessed, you know? Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's haunted mystery mystery box video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like on this video and hit that subscribe button. It's been Lissy and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys! Congratulations to today's <laughs> daily shoutout winners! If you want to win a shoutout, leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shoutout in my next video! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!